going to be gifted to uh, be a storyteller. Uh, I guess my father was a storyteller that used to uh, provide leadership for all of the tribes in southern Alberta. But as, as he went on, he was very prominent in telling the history of our people. And I, I've had the good fortune to be involved in our culture in a very high level of spirituality. I have a beaver bundle in my home that talks about these creation stories that I've passed on to you. I, have, I was the leader of the straight up headdresses. So we had it for seven years and then we passed it on to another group of, uh, of uh, people that wanted to undertake this way of life. And this way of life was just a meditation and prayer. And in that, our culture is perpetuated by talking to the Creator and having thanksgiving for this beautiful day like today. I can hear something jiggling behind me. Uh, my grandson, his name is uh, Aiden, you know, start talking about the story. The story behind the dance he's going to do is what we call a warrior dance. And the warrior dance that he's going to portray in our way of being, when you call counting coup, is to go behind your enemy and touch them and leave a bead or a feather and then back down and then as you're getting on your horse just acknowledging that deed and the guy will look back and he'd know that somebody had touched him and has left a bead and a feather there to tell the story of counting coup so that man would be so insulted because the guy didn't even take his life. He just insulted him that he has to look behind his back for the rest of his life. Because that guy can any time come back and finish the job. So that's the counting coup. And the second one is, is the one when we went on our hunt. And we gathered food and we hunted the buffalo. This was one of our most prominent animals that we hunted and so when you see this young fella dancing he's going to be telling a story story of a hunt story of sneaking up to his prey or his animal that he's going to harvest so at this time let's give a nice welcome to Aiden Deerford
next dance I want to do for you, really close to my heart. This is my son and my grandson that are going to be doing this dance. I used to do this dance when I was two years old. I'm 60 years old, so you can see that the culture is perpetuating through family. Three generations here, dancing, and continue on the stories that our ancestors left us. This next dance is in essence to procreation, the celebration of life. You know, at the longest day of the year, we get together and we have our sun dance, our ceremonial, our ritual part of our culture. We have a holy woman. We couldn't do anything without the woman calling to order the ceremonies. So that calendar year, there was a lot of sadness. There's a lot of sickness. There's a lot of starvation. They couldn't find a buffalo. And of course, there's a lot of death. So the Holy Woman wanted to end the festivities of the Sundance in a good way. So he called the crier to go out and tell the people, come forward with a good way to end the Sundance. Well, this one young man came forward and his crutches and striping his hands forward. And he called that the bear dance. The second guy came with his hands pinched and swaying and he called it the deer dance. Well, the third guy came and he was gyrating and flaunting his body and those women were holding their mouth. They were embarrassed how this young man was portraying himself. So one of the senior women came up and was chasing him out. But the holy woman lifted up her hand and says, Kika, wait, young man, why did you bring that dance into the sacred lodge? And the young man says, nature is our greatest teacher. I was out hunting early in the morning and I come over this ridge. And I saw the females in a big circle dancing in one spot. And the male bird chickens were in the middle and they were flaunting and gyrating their bodies to the female bird chickens. I think we still do that a little bit, eh? So pretty soon, the male and the female were going on and they were procreating. The young man says, these little kids, they're our leaders, they're our future leaders. And when we get together for a family function, there's a new baby. We all want to kiss and hold that baby because we know that's our future. So that's how the holy woman said, we're going to end the sun dance with the prayer chicken dance. But this time, I introduce my son Todd and Hunter Deerford. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Yeah. 
This next dance we want to do for you is what we call the grass dance. And the story behind this dance is such a... When we're moving to a new encampment, a lot of our camps were usually situated along the, the, the rivers and the creeks so all around this region. Our traditional territory was north of the Missouri River, which we call Yellowstone Park, and then south of the North Saskatchewan, where present-day Edmonton is. And we don't know how far into the mountains we occupied. We, all, we didn't, we're very careful. We don't say we own it, okay? Because the creator is the only one that owns this mother earth. And we, our st stories talk about us even being up around the Great Lakes area. But it was the other tribes that got the rifle and kind of pushed us and they're in search of the, the furs of this territory. So they pushed us this way. But getting back to the next dance, this is my good friend, Aaron Daniels, and he's gonna do what we call a grass dance. So our medicine people will go to the new encampment, and they would put four branches of where the camp is gonna be, the four corners. And then we know that we make a circle camp. So we have these elders, they're praying. They're sending the bad spirits away. They're calling the good spirits to come and take care of the people that are going to camp there. And these young men would put the grass in their loincloths and they would be stamping the ground down and blessing it for the people that were going to come. So this is Aaron Daniels doing what we call the grass dance. Let's give him a nice round of applause. You know, we got together at the longest day and the shortest day of the year. I just want everybody to stand up. I'm going to ask the dancers to come forward. We're just going to conclude our presentation with a nice friendship dance. So come and join us. We're going to hold hands and we're going to dance to a beat here and hold hands and celebrate our uniqueness, but also the sameness of all of us as people. So come and dance with us. We want to conclude our presentation this way, in a good way. And then also, we're going to be available if anybody wants to take pictures with the dancers right after this. So come and join us. Come, uh, we're just going to make a big circle here. And we're just going to dance. And just follow the, just follow the dancers here.
So we're uh, available for pictures just over to the left here. My left, your right. Uh, we're more than uh, willing to engage and if you have any questions and if you just want to take pictures with the dancers, we're just over here to the left. So again, thank you. We're Blackfoot Medicine Speaks and thank you for your invitation and please enjoy this beautiful day. Thank you.